Hey, how are you? Thank you for joining me. It's Friday, y'all. You made it. You made it. Come on in. It is that time, the powerful 10 at 10 with your apostle, your spiritual midwife, Apostle Robin Hargrove. Thank you for joining me on today. Come on in and say good morning to me. I'm just so grateful to have you. You made it. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you. God bless you. Minister Margaret, God bless you. Oh my goodness. Elder Terry, God bless you. Bless you indeed. Hopefully uh, we got this. Uh, amen. And it is so and so it is. The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. It is indeed a blessed day. I want you to come on in. Come on in. Would you like and share with me today? 10 at 10. Good morning to you, Elder Elect Nini. God bless you. It's a great day. It's a great day, a fine day in the neighborhood. We're going to use our skills today, not planning on being before you long. Uh, good morning to you, uh, Ambassador Sue Jones. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, would you use your sphere of influence? Be an evangelist on today. Use that uh, powerful finger of yours. Like and share. Tag somebody so that they might be able to get the word on today. Uh, it is... Uh, really important. I'm trying to tell y'all know about you, but it's raining over here in South Jersey where I am. And I wanted to cling uh, to the sheets uh, with everything in me. God bless you. Listen here, Pastor Brenda out there from California, my dear daughter, I love you so much. It is so good uh, to have you on the line. The power of rest and recovery. The power of rest and recovery. Listen, uh, it has been a week. I don't know about you, but for me, my God, what I'm sensing in the spirit, uh, we need to understand when we need to have rest and recovery. Uh, sometimes uh, you can be sleeping uh, all night long, getting your eight hours of sleep, but your mind is not resting. And you wake up and you have not recovered from the past day. Uh, I decree and declare that as we have the freedom of worship, uh, uh, God bless you, man of God. Good morning to you, Pastor E. Listen, as we uh, 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 have the freedom, Freedom Friday, uh, freedom to uh, to worship, freedom to praise him, uh, freedom to make decisions and choices. Uh, good morning to you, Prophetess Jane. Thank you for joining me on today. We also need to understand the power of rest and recovery. Uh, resting, uh, it means you can be doing stuff, but still having the ability to rest your mind. A uh, Good morning to you, my sweet daughter, Angel. God bless you. Minister Angel, God bless you. Uh, listen, I want you to understand, even while you're on this line, uh, I decree and declare a supernatural sense of rest and recovery resting. Let my mind rest. Uh, let your mind rest. Sometimes uh, your mind is going just, I mean, just going. You thinking on so many things. It's not stopping. Your brain is on overload. Uh, am I talking to anybody on today? God help my mind uh, to rest and recover. Uh, we're inundated uh, with information. We're inundated with new news. We're inundated with changes, constant, continual changes. Your mind is always going. I decree and declare, Lord, let my mind rest so that I can be open and ready for my next. I decree and declare that you will maximize this Friday, maximizing this Friday by resting in the power of the Lord. Let my mind rest and recover. I decree and declare, somebody say, and it is so, and so it is. God bless you and good morning to you, Ambassador Nina. God bless you. Uh, thank you for sharing, uh, Pastor Brenda. God bless you. Listen, I need, is there anybody that is understanding the powerful tool of your mind? Your mind needs to be able to have a break. You need to, that's why, uh, um, meditation uh, th th throughout the world is so powerful. Just giving your mind a chance to rest. I need to talk to you. Come on here, daughter. God bless you. I miss you. Amen. Uh, Ambassador Sean, blessings to you. So I want you to get that in your spirit today. God, teach me. Uh, give me an understanding of how to deal with the power of rest and recovery, how to detox my mind. You, I mean, you'd be surprised of just being able to take, God bless you and good morning to you, Ambassador Shalika, uh, Shakila. 
I think I said that right. Amen. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for joining me on today. I'm so glad to have you. Oh, God bless you. There's my son. Amen. Ambassador Richard. Thank you for joining me on today. The power of rest and recovery. Somebody said, God, help my mind uh, to rest. Help my body to recover. Oh, good God. I want you to think about this. And uh, uh, Exodus 33 and 14, and it says, and he said, my presence shall go with you and I will give you rest. Now, listen, it, he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. So you're going, you haven't stopped. You're still moving, but he will give you rest. My God, the trauma of negative thinking. I said it, the trauma that you can go through just by mental thinking is amazing. The things that you're thinking about, especially if you're an overthinker or uh, things that you're hearing and being inundated and your brain is just speaking to your body. And so your body is now actually experiencing trauma. I mean, it's like being in a train wreck. Have you ever been in an argument with somebody and the next morning you feel like you've been in toe to toe battle? Uh, it is so important for you to take this time to rest and recover. I decree and declare the trauma. You got it, Nene. The trauma of negativity, that thinking you're carrying weight. Oh, I'm talking to somebody real good today, but I love this scripture in Exodus 33 and 14. It deals with you. And he says, my presence shall go with you. So I need to stay within the presence of the Lord. And he said, I will give you rest. When I stay in the presence of the Lord, I'm resting and recovering. Oh, God, this is good. When I stay in the presence of the Lord, I am mentally resting, Ashikaya, and my body is recovering. Oh, I decree and declare, you better hear what I'm saying. God bless you. There she is. God bless you, Ambassador Joanna. I love you so much. Listen here. I want you to understand uh, this as well. Psalms 3 and 5, it says, I lay down and I slept. I awake. For the Lord sustains me, Ashikaya. I don't have to trip. I don't have to worry. I don't have to listen. I don't have to argue. I don't have to do all of this stuff. I lay down and I slept, right? I awake for the Lord sustained me. He woke me up this morning. I got peace of mind. I'm not tripping of how I'm going to make it through the day. No, he sustains me. He is my keeper. He is He is my all in all. He guides. He leads. He, he orders my footsteps. And somebody just in capital say, make it easy, God, make it easy. I decree and declare he is my sustainer. As we're in 10 for 10 and we begin to testify, my God, I want you to prophesy over your life. He's my sustainer. He is my keeper. He is my deliverer. Oh, I need to tell you on today, elder, my God, elect Rhonda, hear what I'm saying in here, the power of rest and recovery. God, I decree and declare that my mind is at rest and my body is recovering. I, you cannot continue to go a full throttle and not uh, uh, go into the presence of the Lord so that you can be able uh, to, to, to get the rest that's necessary. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, people will look at you and say, listen, you are working so hard. Uh, when are you resting? Well, I understand as long as I stay in the presence of the Lord, I can run through troops, leap over walls, do all kind of amazing things because he sustains me. Uh, he covers me, but my mind is on him. And see, when I stay, listen, perfect peace whose mind stays on him causes perfect peace. It means I'm not worrying. I'm not tripping. My mind is not working overtime. I'm enjoying my life. Oh, I'm teaching. I'm teaching right here. God, help me today. This thing right here is so important. Somebody should grab hold of this because the enemy wants you to uh, not rest and not recover uh, from the last blow, the last disappointment, uh, the last, listen, oh my God, but I decree and declare your midwife came to you to tell you in between these contractions, baby, I want you to rest. <laughs> 
Your purpose is on its way. My God. Oh, uh, uh, your, your delivery day is coming. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. But I need you to understand mentally, you need to be able. That's why they would give you something to focus on. And I'm telling you, when you begin to focus on the things of God, hey, uh, Dr. Bermudez, God bless you. This is so important, especially to leaders. Uh, do you hear what I'm saying? The power of rest and recovery. You, he's giving you a great mission. He's giving you things to do. Uh, the reason why we're not moving and being effective is because we have to steal away. Jesus stole away. Listen, he told the disciples, listen, get on this boat. We're going to the other side. And the storm came up. Listen, but we found Jesus resting in the boat. He was resting. He was resting that it doesn't matter what is happening on the outside of my boat. I can rest assured that my father has me. Uh, listen, I need you to understand. Rest your mind today. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know I'm talking to you. I, I need you to rest your spirit today. That knowing that he guides me. That I'm, re I'm enjoying life. I made a decision to be happy today. I made a decision even if it's raining. Even if whatever plans I had have been and chains. I mean, before my feet can hit the floor, it was stuff coming at me uh, of what we needed to do, uh, what's going on. But oh my God, listen, I'm resting and I'm recovering. I'm resting in the presence of God. I'm resting and my body will not be traumatized because the things I'm worrying myself about of thinking about it over and over again. Somebody say, I got to let it go so that I can grow. God bless you, uh, Ambassador Barbara. God bless you. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I lay down and I slept and I wake and the Lord sustains me. Listen here. In peace, I will both lie down and sleep for you alone, O oh Lord, make me dwell in safety. I need to tell you this again. Psalms 4 and 8. 4 uh, means uh, 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 seasons in your life. Listen here. Uh, 8 means new beginnings. In peace, I will both lie down and sleep. See, so you read over that too quickly. The ability to lie down. God bless you, Pastor Valerie. I love you with my whole heart out there in sunshine land of Florida. Listen here. I will both, both, it's kept, listen, both lie down and sleep because there's a different kind of rest. You can get rest and still move. I just gave you that scripture above, right? Uh, you can, listen, listen, just in case y'all missed it, I want you to understand this. He says uh, 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 in Exodus 33, mm -hmm, he said, my presence, I shall go with you and I will give you rest. That while going, you can still rest. Now, listen, I get down here uh, uh, in Psalms 4 and 8, and it says, in peace, I will both lie down and sleep. Both lie down and sleep for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. It is a safe place uh, that if I'm going, I'm still resting. Oh, my God, because my mind is in uh, uh, the atmosphere of the Lord. I'm resting in, in him that he's got me. I'm, 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 not, I'm not carrying the weight of what if. Who am I talking to? I'm not carrying the weight if uh, I have the ability to do this or who's with me. No, no, I'm resting that he got me. Oh, God, that's a different kind of rest. Come on here, daughter. I see you. I see you. I see you, daughter. I see you, toy. I see you. I see you. God bless you. Ambassador Rajan, God bless you. Uh, come on here. You understand what I'm saying right here? He says he makes me dwell in safety. Do you understand that you could be sleeping but not resting because you don't feel safe? If you have not created a safe environment, oh my God, the enemy will make you not feel safe in the safety of your own home. I'm coming against that spirit of today. I decree and declare somebody grab hold of that text of scripture, but I lie down. I am safe. Oh my God. And uh, 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 he's got me. You better believe it, uh, 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 Ambassador Nina. You better believe what I'm saying to you. Do you understand uh, when I think about it? Uh, they, they woke Jesus up in the boat and, and it was like, uh, uh, are you sleeping? Uh, are we going to perish? Listen, uh, he rebuked them. He said, I already gave you the word that we were going to the 
the other side. I need y'all to understand that on this Friday, you got the freedom of resting. You got the freedom of still moving and doing, uh, but not having the trauma from negativity, the trauma of stinking thinking, the trauma of, of words. The words hurt, baby. Words can hurt. Uh, people are like, I did not. No, 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 no. You, you're conspiring. You're saying stuff. Listen, and then the people who hear about it are now uh, feeling the darts of, of the plan. They're overthinking it. I loose you from it today. And I decree and declare you're living your best life win right now. You're resting and recovering. I think about this. Listen here, Doc. Uh, I, I think about this piece right here. When you think about the prophet Elijah, when he was going against uh, those 400 prophets, y'all need, need to hear uh, what I'm saying. God bless you, Tish. I decree and declare uh, that seed that you just sown uh, be activated on that word that you just sowed it on. Uh, when I think about uh, 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 prophet Elijah, uh, he, he, he was dealing with all of those prophets. He said, how long will you be stuck in between two opinions? How long will you be stuck in it? Either I'm going to believe the word of God or I'm not. Somebody should like, tag, share, because this word will change your life. I decree and declare. Do you hear what I'm saying right now? The power of rest and recovery. Uh, he went in. Uh, he was so confident about his God. Uh, he moved. He, he, he had the peace of understanding. See, the, the prophets uh, on the other side of Baal didn't have peace about it. They were cutting themselves. They were screaming. They were doing all of this thing to get their God to respond. No, he was building a trench. He was setting up a sanctuary. He was setting up, my God, uh, uh, for this whole uh, 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 season to take place. He was calling down fire. Listen, but can I tell you, after he kills all of these prophets, after uh, the fire comes down, uh, he then gets a word uh, uh, from one woman. He gets a word from one woman and runs off. He runs off. He tells he tells his armor bearer, don't, uh -uh, don't even go with me. I need to be by myself. He is so upset and so flushed. He sits underneath the tree and he just wants to die. Oh, I'm talking, I'm talking to leaders on today that you need to understand it's not the situation. You're tired. You need to rest and recover. Uh, uh, it is something about having the ability to be able to sit down somewhere, rest and recover. He was having a conversation with God. I wish he would just take me on out. He had one of his greatest victories that he ever had. Listen, I mean a showdown like no doubt. Listen, uh, but he was tired. So he started talking crazy. I, I decree and declare that you rest and recover and don't talk crazy. You shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Who am I talking to today? I'm talking to you. I decree and declare the Lord sent an angel uh, to him. And listen, uh, he let him go to sleep. He gave him food to eat and then it let him run on for 40 days. Listen, I, supernatural energy come to me now. Supernatural strength come to you now. Uh, come on here. Oh uh, my God. Who am, uh, You need to understand. Somebody say that I need this. I need this rest and recovery period. I, I don't mean that I need to just, uh, sometimes you do. You just need to go lay down somewhere. You'd be surprised of what it, how good it would do you uh, just to meditate on the Lord. Set an atmosphere. It's 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 food for your soul. Uh, listen, uh, get the word in your spirit. Uh, uh, meditate. Set atmosphere. Uh, I, listen, I even set it up so that what I smell, my God, uh, uh, smells good and it puts me in a place. Do you understand that there's smell goods that will cause stress to leave? Uh, and, and impact that with my, my sweet worship, uh, meditating on the Lord, getting in his presence. It brings me rest uh, and recovery. Uh, you can't keep doing this kind of stuff. I'm a deliverance preacher. Uh, I'm a teacher. Uh, I'm doing multiple ministries uh, uh, at the same time. I'm a daughter. Come on here. I'm a son uh, to the chief apostle, to apostle Kim A. Davis. I, I need to be able to know that when I'm not doing my own stuff, I'm, I'm undergirding and I'm supporting them. But how do I rest and recover? I rest and recover by getting into these scriptures. Come on here, apostle elect. Come on here, uh, Daniels. It's going to take me a minute, uh, uh, but that's the prayer general uh, that is on the line. God bless you, woman of God. We celebrate you on today. I need you to think about what I am saying. I'm already done. 
I'm already done, but I need you to get into these scriptures because it shows you of how I can rest and still move. There she kind of, uh, uh, Exodus 33 and 14. I'm not repeating it. Yep. Cause somebody should put it on the line that he said, my presence shall go with you and I will give you rest while on my way. I'm resting. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Because I can rest in the promises of God. I can rest in his presence. I can rest and recover. I need to talk to some people on today that you need to have a rest and recovery day. Let this weekend be where I stay in the presence of God. I refuse to uh, refute, argue, uh, uh, deal with folk and crazy stinking thinking. And even in my own mind, I won't let uh, 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 the behaviors of others or even of myself uh, to now rent space into my head that I cannot rest uh, with my father. You need a rest and recovery day. Somebody put it on here and say, I invite the rest and the recovery into my life on today. I'm feeling better already. I feel God. Is she Kaya? Refilling me, refreshing me, reviving me. It's amazing that you can be doing stuff, but if you're in the presence of people who have great energy, when you have a peaceful uh, environment uh, of how you can walk out feeling refreshed, renewed. Listen, sometimes you can't even find that in your own house because you have not set the atmosphere uh, to be able to have a place to rest in recovery. I could do anything. Listen, I could listen, deal, uh, cast out demons, do all kinds of stuff, uh, give food away, uh, help with babies. But if I can't come home and rest and recover, there's a problem. You've got to be able to say, you have to do it. Don't say, well, you know what? That's what they're doing. Uh, uh, these kids or this man. No, 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 no. How do I set a rest and recovery? It's almost uh, like I have to turn around. Uh, come on, deal with that right there, uh, 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 Pastor Valerie, uh, 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 that I need a charge, a recharge. Here she Kaya. I need a one-on-one -on -one with Jesus. Absolutely. I, I, I need to rest. I need a recharge. I, I need a... Uh, for him to activate me, recharge me, fill me up and see you're too busy. You ran out the house. You didn't acknowledge him. Uh, you didn't wake up this morning. Come on here. Uh, a lot of times we do stuff out of routine, but slow your roll. God, I'm just so grateful that you woke me up this morning. Now invite him in to be a part of your day. I thank you for a, a safe environment. I thank you for a safe recovery. I, I thank you that I, the peace beyond man's understanding is resting and abounding on me on today. I'm done. I decree and declare you cannot, you cannot sit there and dwell on stuff over and over again. And then you can't manipulate people either, getting people to believe and think like you uh, because you haven't rested and recovered. You're doing damage. You're doing damage not only to yourself, you're doing damage to people who are listening to you because you have not rested and recovered. I'm just saying. It's time to rest and recover. Hey, God bless you. Uh, my, my, oh, God bless you, Elder Atley. God bless you, a uh, woman of God. Uh, God bless you. That's my dear sister. Amen. Uh, uh, Lady Naomi, God bless you. You know what I mean? You have you ever been really tired and now you're short with people? You this damage control on today. I sense this in the spirit. You need to slow. Listen. You need to uh, wind this thing back, and you need to come to the place of God. I need to rest and recover. God bless you, Ambassador Patrice. I love you. Uh, I, I need I need to rest and I got to recover and I can do that while still doing what I'm doing but I got to set an environment to allow my mind to be able to rest even while you're driving in the car stop hooping and hollering and going off and getting off take it down slow your roll down uh, meditate uh, put the right music on set up there's a certain thing that when i need to rest and recovery what it needs to sound like what it needs to look like taste and see that the lord is good do you hear what i'm saying slow down 
I'm talking to somebody. You letting everybody dictate to you your schedule and you're not taking your partner with you. And your partner is your Holy Spirit. You got to take God with you. The, 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 listen, he is in. Mm -mm -mm. The king is in the field. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Listen here, Ambassador Tia, I love you. I need you to understand. Uh, we've got our mind could be on overload. You just play stuff over and over and over. You weren't even upset about it. But now you done played it over and over your head until now you're mad. Am I talking to anybody? Listen. Oh, I play my whole day back. And just you to live the day. And now you done played the whole day. God bless you, a woman of God. Thank you for sowing. Uh, uh, Ambassador Peggy, I thank you for sowing. Amen. In Jesus' name. See, when we learn to sow on that word right there, it's like, God, I decree and declare, help my mind. Help my mind uh, to recover. Help my body to recover. I need to talk to some people that are feeling trauma by just your thoughts. Traumatized by just conversations. Oh, my God. It's like you had an uppercut and you now need to recover. These conversations, you've got to be able to safeguard and heal. Not shut down. Not shut down. But get in his presence. What's missing is in the presence of the Lord. Somebody say, Lord, help me to get in his presence. Let's get ready to uh, decree and declare it today. I decree and declare that the Lord is strengthening me today. I decree and declare that my mind is brilliant. My mind is alert. And I think the thoughts of God. Say it. I think the thoughts of God. I need you to understand this. God uh, will illuminate. Mm, mm, mm. He'll illuminate his word in your mind that will bring healing. One scripture changes everything. Listen, I need you to walk with me and help me to recover. I I'm walking in safety. I'm walking in safety. You got to hear what I'm saying, Elder Nat. You got to hear what I'm saying. It's so important. If you don't do it, Listen, being a leader, you'll lead people uh, into craziness because you need to rest and recover in your mind. God, deal with my heart, deal with my mind. And it is so. I, I need you to understand that, that let the Holy Spirit come and wash me, uh, renew in me. Oh, God, uh, I, listen, I love you, bestie. I love you for, uh, I love you for real. Uh, but the Lord was dealing with me last night and he said, to me, just as good. You know, I was talking to Nene about something else. I had all these scriptures. I was going somewhere else. In the middle of my conversation, I heard the power of rest and recovery. I want to empower you. I want you to in, uh, uh, recover. I want you to recover from that last argument. I want you to uh, recover from that disappointment. I want you to recover uh, from that break. Uh, 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 that 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 breakup. I, I I need you to fully recover. Somebody said I'm fully recovering in my mind, in my heart, in my body. In my thoughts, listen, you can say one thing with your mouth, but internally you're holding stuff. Father, I thank you for washing me. I thank you for creating in me a clean heart and renewing a right spirit within me this Friday. I decree and declare that I am resting and recovering in my mind, in my body, uh, in my spirit, in my relationships, because I'm no good for anybody until I rest and recover. I can't counsel. I can't guide. I need to rest. You can't keep pull up, pouring out. This is why uh, the ministry that's created at the embassy, we have so many leaders that come now from all over the country and around the world. Uh, leaders who are fighting on the front line, that, but they find a place to rest and recover. A safe place. Because you need it. I need it. So I set in an atmosphere, an environment that allows me to draw on that spirit of the Lord without having to be the one who always has to do it. Be intentional about your rest and your recovery period. I love you. I'm speaking truth to you today. Somebody said, I received the truth. Truth talk, truth talk in love. You just need to rest, baby. You just need to recover from that. Somebody said, I just need to recover from that. 
And even, even when I'm going, I'm intentionally taking the prescription of, of prayer, the prescription of listening uh, to music. And you know what? When my mind is all over the place, do you know what I do? I'll get even uh, 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 praise and worship music, right? That may inst be instrumental because my mind can't even can't even slow down from having to say the words. I just need instrumental. This is why David, the psalmist, had the ability to play the harp until that evil spirit left Saul. That tormenting spirit, you just need to be able to have and set an environment. I'm, I'm talking to somebody. Somebody right now just came on in to the delivery room. And I don't want you to stress yourself out and not be able to produce on next month. You need to rest and you need to recover. I, I want to get ready. Let's call it right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that God, listen, that, that God is going before me and making the crooked places straight. Somebody say the Lord is going before me and he's making every crooked place straight in Jesus name. Whatever's crooked in my life, he's straightening it out right now. Prophesy over your life. Come on here, Mother Judy. I'm standing in agreement with you. Amen. Healing for your daughter, healing in your mind, healing in your body and your soul and in your spirit. I decree and declare that he has already lined up the right people for me. I decree and declare that he has already lined up the right people for me. Whatever I need to get it done, the right people are coming right now. And I'm going to be open. Because, you know, God can send you people. But because you haven't rested or recovered, you'll beat the people. You'll shut people down. You'll read them from a negative place. Oh, I'm talking right. God is sending you help, but are you open for help? Listen, I decree and declare the right opportunities and the right solutions to problems. God is setting up the right opportunities for me. I'm going slow because I want you to get it. I want you to speak it. God is creating the right opportunities, not only just the right people, but he's given me the right opportunities to be able to connect. Amen. And he's given me solutions, real solutions to my everyday problems. He's giving me real solutions to my everyday challenges. Somebody say, and it is so. Thank you, God, for real solutions. How does that happen? Thank you, God, for wisdom. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for wisdom to know when to hang up. Thank you for the wisdom when to be quiet. Thank you for the right communication skills on how to say it, what needs to be said. Thank you, God, for the right solutions that's spoken in love. Am I helping? I Listen, listen, I might not had this before, but he's given it to me today. This wisdom, the power of rest and recovery is coming to me when? Right now. The power of rest and recovery is coming to me right now. I'm going to be better today than I have been in years. And Shikaya. Healing virtue is coming to you now. Receive it. The healing virtue is coming to you now. Some of you have been so angry and frustrated and don't even know why. Because you have not slowed down to rest and recover. And if you don't, instead of getting in the presence of God, you start finding other things to help you cope. This is when it births out addictions. But every addiction is broken in your life right now. Whether it's from food, popping pills, smoking, huffing, whatever it is. Sex, whatever it is. I decree and declare that all addictions are broken in my life. And I'm inviting the king in so that I can rest and recover in a most powerful way. I feel the power of God meeting you right where you are, 
right now. He's coming to you right now. Somebody say, I receive it. Listen, I decree and declare I haven't had, listen, no person, no sickness, and no disappointments can stop his plan for my life. I'm going to say it again. There is no person, no sickness, no disappointment that can stop his plan for my life. See, you're so worried about what this is going to do. No, 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 no. When I understand that God is involved in my every aspect of my life, there is no person, there are no people. Listen, there's no sickness. Mm -mm. There is no disappointments that can stop it. I can only stop it if I get out of his will. Somebody say, I'm jumping in. I'm jumping back into the will of God. I'm, I'm, I'm divinely uh, 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 coming to the place where divine power of rest and recovery. That's why we have so many people that go to massage parlors and uh, do all these spas. And, and I'm not against it. But we would find ourselves really, really, if we set an atmosphere of the spa of Jesus being my masseuse. Come on here. I need you to touch me in those places that I've been traumatized. I need you to get into the deep root in places where I got knots of tension. It's going now. It's being released now. And it is so. Listen, uh, what he has promised will come to pass. I'm done. Listen to here. Listen to what I'm saying. Ambassador Charnette, because I got, I listen, I decree and declare. I'm so glad to see you on the line. Powerful woman of God you are. Uh, let God continue to use you. I decree and declare what he promised will come to pass. Do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, listen, Ambassador Joanna, listen, uh, 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 Ron, listen, what he promised will come to pass. You don't have to fret about it. You don't have to trip about it. You don't even got to make it happen. Listen, all you got to do is be open, be at the right place, right time. God, lead, guide me unto all truth. Uh, let, let's move out in love. Do you hear me? The truth is we need to go back and apologize. We need to make some correction uh, because we were just tired. I have to steal away because I know that my words uh, can hurt, but I can't. I got to refresh. I got to renew. Uh, listen, uh, so that I could do that. Oh, God is so good. And his mercy endures uh, forever. Do you hear me, prophetess? Uh, Ronnie's, oh, this thing is I decree and declare that I am the head and not the tail. I decree and declare that I am above and not beneath. I decree and declare I'm resting, walking, moving, shaking in him. Here she Kaya. I decree and declare that my God, I feel better already. I just want about 10 people to say that right now. I feel better already. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Come on here, Ambassador Melody. We standing in the gap. We're praying for your mama. Amen. We're praying for you. I got, I know he's in full control. He's got it. He's got it. I'm waiting for the praise reports to just come on in. They flying in. The enemy wouldn't be working so hard to try to cause uh, 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 these interruptions. The enemy keeps trying to uh, interrupt, but he won't do it. I decree and declare you hear this message. Loud and clear. I feel better. Y'all doing it. I, re I, re I receive my healing and my recovering. I, I receive my rest and recovery. I receive it. I receive it. Somebody, somebody grab hold of this because I'm talking to you. You feel, I, I decree and declare a spiritual download that causes your spirit to awaken. That the water begin to flow, baby. Begin to prime. Just go. Set the atmosphere. Tell the kids, listen, I need about 12 minutes. You'd be surprised what 12 minutes will do to you. 12 minutes of rest and recovery. If somebody uh, listens to what I'm saying, listen to the prophet talking to you. Your midwife is telling you 12 minutes to go rest and recover, whether it is just finding a quiet space, put the timer on, meditate, put your earphones on, rest, shut down this mind and just let it get in the presence of the Lord. The Lord is closer and nearer to you than he's ever been before. Somebody say, I receive it and it is so. I'm finished. 
I'm done. I want you to get ready to seed. If you have not seeded already, those that are seeding, I want you to do it right now. Say, you know what? I needed this word. It's going to save your life. It's going to help you to, to live your best life. I decree and declare uh, no strokes, no heart attacks, uh, no diabetes. Come on here. No hypertension. I'm healed from that. No emotional breakdowns because I have an emotional plan. Sickness and disease is far from me. I'm living my best life when right now. And it is so. And so it is. I can smile, have a great attitude because I have an attitude of gratitude. Just listen, 12 people just need to say I'm grateful. Come on here. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Brenda. I decree and declare resting and recovering. Thank you for sowing, uh, Minister Margaret. God bless you. I want you to do it. If you're sowing, say it. I'm sowing on this word today. It is going to bring light to every dark place in you. God bless you, uh, Ambassador Angel. God bless you. Listen, y'all hear 12 minutes, divine power. I'm telling you, peace be still uh, with you in your mind, in your heart. Uh, all of this stuff that's boggled up, it's going to be a release. I'm talking to you. You know I'm talking to you. You've been on overload, just going and going and going. <sighs> breathe, baby, breathe. Your midwife is on duty. God gave me this assignment so that I would be able to come alongside of you and tell you, you're going to make it all the way to the end. You will not leave here prematurely. You're going to live a full, victorious life, enjoying every minute. Can't we start today? Let's start on this Friday. I have the freedom to worship and I have the freedom to rest and recover. Make an appointment with you and the King. It means everything. Well, it's truly been a real pleasure to be able to be connected to you all today. I have gone way over my time uh, on today, but I'm so grateful. If this word has blessed you, can you just put it up on here? Say, I received this word. I received this word and it's working for me. I received this word and it's working for me. It's already causing a healing to come to you right now. This, this word was an interruption to what I was going to minister today. And I heard from God. He told me to tell you, it's time to rest and recover in him and live your best life when right now. It's changing your attitude. It's changing your words. It's changing your position. It's changing your faith. Listen, 12 minutes is about to change your life for the better. Do it. Just do it. Mm -mm. So I just need 12 minutes, y'all. I'm going to put it on pause for 12 minutes and do it. Can you? Can I challenge you to do that all weekend? 12 minutes of just complete, however it is, that, that, that just takes you in to that atmosphere of the Father. But just 12 minutes to rest. Just if the, Can I help you? Come on, daughter. Let me help you. Moesha, let me help you. Listen, what you do is in those 12 minutes of resting and recovering, you begin to think about what I'm so grateful for. Just go in with the spirit of gratitude. God, I'm grateful you brought me through. God, thank you for healing my body. And then that, guess what I want you to do? You do that for six minutes. Then I, I want you to be quiet. Is she quiet? Six minutes not saying nothing. He's going to talk to you. Six minutes of just allowing him to detox your spirit and your mind. I know what I'm telling you is the truth. I hear God. He called me to be your spiritual midwife to help coach you to your next assignment because you are a kingdom builder and we need you to survive and thrive. You will not fall out. You will not die here. You will be energized. You are coming back better. And it is so. And so it is. Where God guides, he provides. I speak now divine healing. I speak now a divine favor, grace, mercy. We're taking it all in on today. We have the freedom to do it. It's Freedom Friday. I'm going for this win. So, oh, I'm going for this win. I'm in the winner's circle, baby. This is I'm not just surviving, I'm thriving. Listen, I'm called to be better. And it is so and so it is. Use your tools, baby. 
Well, this is your midwife signing off on this Friday. I can't wait uh, to see you if you're in my area at all on this weekend. Would you just check us out? Uh, come on over to the east, which is at uh, the Embassy St. James uh, Bible Deliverance right there in Egg Harbor City at 9 a.m. Morning Glory. We go right on in to worship and it's real good. Listen, I'm trying to tell you that prophetess, uh, 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 prophetess Nicholson, listen, uh, there's an atmosphere of praise that is set in the house. It's a place of recovery, morning glory. You don't want to miss it. And then we have a special service that's happening uh, uh, at the West. It's going to be uh, short and sweet, our power, because we're going into the field to do field work. Uh, they're going to be having a great event going on on Landis Avenue, the Embassy House of Zion, right there at 427 West Landis Avenue on Sunday morning. Uh, we'll be there at 1130. Listen, the doors open at 11. Come on in, set the atmosphere of prayer. Uh, and worship and the word. Do you hear what I'm saying? We're going to do it. Uh, and then after that, we're given all kind of blessings. The uh, Lord has blessed us uh, and we are launching uh, our um uh, our new uh, uh, development corporation, a CDC, Community Development Corporation. We're launching it on this Sunday. And so we got book bags for the kids. Uh, we got scooters and stuff. Listen, we're giving out all kinds of stuff in the community. You don't want to miss it. We're going to have a high time in the Lord. Won't you join me? I'd love to be able to greet you uh, in person. If not, uh, catch us online and I'll be back here. Now, I'm not promising you that I'll be back here on Monday. Mondays are my rest and my recovery day. And because you've really gotten a lot of tools, you could be able to handle that. I'll see you on Tuesday. Amen. And so I may, if he tells me to on Monday, and I may not, but it's my rest and recovery day. Anybody knows it's my uh, Sabbath day. And the truth is... um. The Lord excused me uh, to make sure that I can get on here and do 10 at 10 uh, and teach these uh, skills uh, so that we can prophesy over our day. Even when we're not on, when you wake up, listen, begin to speak over your day, every day. Bind up the enemy. I decree and declare no tickets, no accidents, no hurt, harm, or danger come nigh to you and anyone connected to you. I speak generational blessings uh, right now to you in Jesus' name. Let it run down to the fourth generation, and it is so. I speak that you will live your best life when? Right now living life on purpose with purpose, that the Lord may add years uh, to your life. You hear what I'm saying? That you will not be depleted because you have not rested or recovered. No, no, no. We're going to rest and recover and live our best lives when right now. If you have not liked and shared this message already, will you help me? Will you tag somebody? Will you tag your family groups of uh, different ones? Let them know. Say, this is the change that's happening in me. Share the good news uh, with someone else as well. You hear me? Get with your favorite people. Get with the folk that just bring good energy. Listen, get with folk that you don't have to pour into. Be be listen there's a time to pour into folk but then there's a time to that i just need to be able to talk to somebody uh that's going to help refresh me or revive me or just let me be where i can live smile laugh not trip y'all know it's so refreshing how about you be that for somebody and then let someone be that for you it's a give and take you need it as well as you give it do you hear what i'm saying i love all of you with my whole heart. Will you continue to pray for me and my family? Pray for the ministry. Amen. God is doing great things. I thank God as he has surrounded you by great people that he will continue to build up a powerful team to be able to get this vision uh, going and doing what God has called. We're moving at an accelerated rate and it's real good. Thank you for being a part of my family. Amen. Thank you for meeting me here every day at 10 o'clock. I'm so grateful about it. I mean, iron sharpens iron. It's been real good. Come on here. Let's do this. Woo. Do it one more time. Come on here. One more time. Breathe, baby, breathe. Your midwife is on duty. Signing off. Go enjoy your day. Rest and recover well. Bye-bye.